The future of transportation was on display in the East today as a variety of electric vehicles were introduced to invite people to eco-friendly ways of getting around. Ho Jung Ru was at the event and learned more about what electric vehicles offer. She's live now with more details. Ho Jung. Even Courtney, moments ago, this is where multiple electric vehicles were getting charged while also informing people about greener ways of transportation. Now, there are more policy implementations that need to take place for a wider usage of these electrical vehicles here in the east, but experts say that this is all worth it for Mother Earth. Charging ports and electric vehicles geared up heading into Earth Week at ECU. Monique Powell purchased her electric vehicle four years ago. Gas was expensive and things were changing where I could finally afford an electronic vehicle, so I decided to switch from gas to electric. Electric vehicle owners, environmental advocates, technology specialists, and ECU sustainability program came together to promote electric vehicles. It's just a much more sustainable way to get to and from work, to go run your errands, grocery shopping, things like that around town. Carwine says on demonstration days like this, ride-alongs and connecting with current owners of electric vehicles to talk about their experience can bring more familiarity and information about EVs. Brandon Smith, EV Noir consultant and an electric vehicle owner himself says there are still areas that need work for broader vehicle usage and efficient battery disposals. Better ways to dispose of the batteries, finding better ways to recycle the ones that can be recycled, finding better ways to source the batteries and the materials that go into them and better ways to manufacture and more efficient ways to get these vehicles on the road. And a huge next step is developing a more robust charging infrastructure. The ECU sustainability program also signed the Charge at Work pledge to adopt more charging ports for EVs at workplaces nationwide. The collaborative work of the organization is under the U.S. Department of Energy's grant to install more charging spots at workplaces and eventually have more electric vehicle drivers across the country. Reporting live from Greenville, Ho Jung Ru, WITN News. David Courtney. All right, thanks, Ho Jung. And according to Car Wine, other ways of sustainable transportation include taking the bus, carpooling, walking, and of course, biking.